Yo, what's going on my fellow graphic designers? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. And this one I'm showing you guys how you can make an actual logo. Not like just a letter, but I mean, it's gonna be a letter, but I'm gonna tweak it to make it look more like a logo. So it's gonna be more creative. And I do hope you guys enjoy this one. This is the first one I've done. So we'll see how this goes. I might make more in the future. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so once you're at photopea.com, what you want to do is click new project. And for the dimensions, we're going to do 800 for the width and 800 for the height. So now you just hit create and here is your canvas. So what we're going to do now is just double click on our background layer, go to color overlay, and we're just going to turn it to black for now, just so it's easier to see. And now what we're going to do is get our pen tool. We're going to use the pen tool for like everything. So hopefully you know how to use it. I'll show you how anyway. So go up to fill and turn that to white. And that's all you need to change for the settings. So now we're ready to start. So let's start by making one side of our letter. And then what we'll do is just flip it. We'll mirror it horizontally so we don't have to worry about making it so symmetrical. So we're going to have like a little line like this. And then just click downwards kind of at an angle. And then do another line until it looks like this. That's basically what you want to do. And you can make it a little bit bigger if you want. Just hit a, a control alt T to free transform it. So there we go. Now what we're going to do is honestly, it might not be angled enough. So let me redo. I'm just going to redo that. It's going to take a few tries. So just know that but let's make it angled a little bit more. I think that's pretty good. So let's just move that here. And what we're going to do actually is free transform it. So control alt T and we can do all that fun stuff. Now click on that layer and hit control J to duplicate it. Now hit control alt T to free transform it. And if you right click in this box and click flip horizontally, it's going to flip it horizontally. Now we're just going to move it the other side of it so let's zoom in here get your zoom tool and zoom in we're going to make sure it's even and you can use your arrow keys to make it more precise so you can move it over like that i recommend doing that and we're going to make it look like that so that's a pretty good start so now what we're going to do is just hold control and click on both of the layers right click and convert it to a smart object so it's just one layer now so we can move it to the center. So yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. And now what we're gonna do is add a inner V like right here. So how we're gonna do that is we are going to get our pen tool once more. Click at the top left, but not like touching this white part. Have it a little bit over to the right. Now click down in the middle and then at the top right like that. Now click back down to the middle and there you go. So it's kind of, it's just a subtle thing. And if you zoom in, you can move it with your arrow key to make it more precise if you're off quite a bit, but that seems to be as good as I can get it for now. So it has a pretty cool looking effect to it. I must say it's now ready to add like the inner shadow part of this. So get your pen tool again, go up to fill and click on the gray one. We're going to start out here in like the middle. Make sure it's high enough to now click down here in the middle and then up to the middle part and then up here. You just like follow the lines like that. Now control J to duplicate it, control alt T and then flip it horizontally and move it to this side. Now what we're going to do is Hold control and click on both of them. Right click and merge layers. Now you can turn the opacity down just a bit and it gives it a cool look. Now this is up to you. Like you can be as creative as you want. I'm just giving you the basic idea of how you're going to go about making a logo. And it's super simple, but it does look clean and you could do tons to it. Now at this point, you can bring in any background you want. So you could just try some different backgrounds, see which one you like. 
and then you can make that your logo. So now at this point, you're ready to export. So go ahead and go up to file, export as, and PNG or JPEG is up to you. If you wanna take the background off and hide them and have this checkered background, when you save it as a PNG, it will just be your logo with a transparent background. But if you wanna have a background and all that, then just unhide them. So when you go to export them, basically PNG is a bigger file, but it's better quality. And JPEG is a smaller file, but also a worse quality. So it's up to you to make that decision on which one you want. Personally, I always go with PNG because it looks a lot better. So when you go ahead and click on that, you can choose the quality. 100% is what I do every time. And you just hit save to save it. And if you want to edit this file later, go up to save as a PSD. So then when you go to open it, you'll be able to edit it again. All right, guys, it's homework time. You guys have some homework to do. This is the only way you're going to get better. I sound like a teacher now and I apologize, but this is actually really helpful. So what I want you to do is make another logo using a different letter. So I use V, use a different letter like F or something. And I want you to have the shading on it. So like the darkish gray part. And I want you to add a background to it. And once you're finished with that, go up to file, publish online as a either this one or this one. And then what that's going to do is save it as a link. So when you right click and click copy image link, you can post that in the comments and I'll be able to see it. So the best one will be pinned. So keep that in mind. And I know you guys can do it. And that's all I got for you guys today. So I know it's super easy and uh, that's the whole point. I'm trying to make it easy for you guys and you get the idea of how to make a logo. You just mirror it to keep it symmetrical and all that. And you can be as creative as you want with this. So I hope it helped you. If you want to see more content like this, then definitely leave a like and subscribe because I make a lot of videos like this. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.